Hi, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. On our series, we're playing Tokaido. And what would a Watch It Played series be without some mistakes? Besides, better. Well, I made a mistake in the last episode. And uh, many of you pointed out, many of you pointed it out. <laughs> the comments were full of people pointing it out. And I appreciate that. I, I actually, I do really appreciate that. And it's a funny thing because at the end of the last episode, uh, I looked at the score track and Luke had pulled way ahead. And I was feeling pretty good because although uh, I wasn't winning, at least I wasn't last. Now, as a father, you never say that out loud. But as a gamer, inside, that's what I was thinking because I was ahead of Andrea. Turns out we forgot to give Andrea three points. Uh, when she donated three coins to the temple, not only do you get points for the coins that you donate to the temple at the end of the game, you also get points right away. One point for each coin which I don't need to tell you because you already know because you told me <laughs> that I forgot to do that. So we are going to give Andrea three points right now. One, two, three, which puts me in last place. Alright, we're back and I've been joined by Luke Smith and Andrea Smith, the yes. girl who's not in last because she got the appropriate amount of points given Yes, to yes, her. I went over this before you got here, okay? I made a mistake <laughs> and I'm in last place. We're going to continue right now with Luke's turn and Luke, some recommendations were given to us by the viewers. The most popular one came to us from Jeremy Gast. Everyone seemed to be on board with this plan and that's to have you go to the farm so you can get some money. Not just so that you can have money. But so to, you can get it? Right, to keep me from getting any money, to keep Andrew from getting any money. So let's go to the table and let's play this out. So I'm going to move to the farm. And that farm is going to allow you to collect three coins. Well, now it's my turn. And I'm going to travel actually to the very first spot. I'm going to collect the first part of this panorama. So I'm collecting the first card in this set, which is going to give me one point, which I'll take here. Still, Andrea, I'm behind you. Ha! So I'm going to go to the green space, and that will actually let me finish my scene. And this one will give me three points. And since I'm the first person to complete it, extra three points. Yes. Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm broke and in last place. All right, so for my turn, well, I can't go to the temple. I have no money to donate. But I can go to the next panorama here. And this is great for me. Well, the kids aren't the only ones scoring big points in this game. This is the fourth and final piece of my panorama. That's going to give me four points. One, two, three, four. Because I completed this one first, I get the bonus three. One, two, hello, Andrea. Tied again. All right, Luke, the viewers can't help you now. You're on your own. What do you want to do? I'm going to move to the encounter space. Taking advantage of your special ability. So Luke yep. gets to draw two. I got knocked two. over. Oh, dear me. <laughs> I'm You can barely stand up. <laughs> So we've got two, are you kidding me? Look oh. at that. Ooh, tough choice. Three gold nice. or three points. So the card I'm picking is the one with the free money because I love money. This is interesting. So if I had gone to the encounter space first, yeah. I could have had that money. Yeah. And I need the money. Yeah. Yes. Instead, this is going to Luke. So this card that didn't get picked will go to the bottom of the encounter pile. And now, it's Andrea's turn. Now for my turn, I'm going to be going to the hot springs. Okay, easy points. And three, three points in the lead. Wow, things have changed here. Not for long, that is. Before I take my turn, I just want you guys to, to sort of see the situation I'm in. Maybe I can earn a little bit of sympathy. I can't go to the temple because I have no money. I can't go to this panorama because I already finished it. I could go to this panorama, earn myself two points, because I've already started this one. The only problem is, if I do that, Andrea's probably gonna jump ahead of me and go to this farm, meaning I won't have any money and I'll be starving again at the inn. So I really feel like I have to jump all these spaces ahead and go right to the farm, just so I have some money. So hopefully I can buy something at the inn and collect those important six points. So I'm gonna take my three coins, pass the turn over to Luke. For my turn, I thought about going to the temple but I like going shopping, so I'm going to go to the village. <laughs> Saving your money to go shopping. All right, let's see what you can buy. So I thought to make this easier, we just lay out the cards, the souvenirs that Luke already has, which is the top row here and this one. 
And then here are the three new ones that he just drew from the village deck. So which ones would you like to buy, Luke? And maybe you can tell us why. All of them. <laughs> of course. Right? Because this is new for this set. Yes. Which gives me three points. This one's new also, so it gives me five points. Okay. And this one I already have in these two sets, so it has to become a new set. Okay, and how much will it give you as a part of a new set? One. Exactly. So a total of? Nine points. Nine points. And Luke's going to collect those nine points right now, which takes him all the way up to 31. So for the theme of my turn, it's going to be sightseeing. First, go to the Great Panorama. I've never been there before, so I'm just going to get to collect the one. Then, to the Blue Panorama, which I've already got one of those, so I'm going to get two points, giving me an additional three points. And now, I get to go again, <laughs> and I'm going into the end, and I can draw four cards. So as you guys might remember, Andrew gets to look at these cards secretly, and she gets to pick one if she can afford it. She only has one coin. That's fine. This is only worth one. The all one right, all right. So Andrew's going to spend the coin to buy a meal. Misto Shiru. Okay, you can add that in, and you get six points when you buy a meal. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm in the lead. Andrew's in the lead by one. She has 32 points. Luke has 31, and I have 20. The rest of the meals are going to go right beside the meal pile. That's right. And Luke, you now get to go, and Luke's going to go right into the inn, and he gets to draw from the remaining meals, see if there's anything there that he likes. Luke, do you need a second to think about what you want to do? No. Okay. I want Dango. Okay, sure. Marshmallows on a stick. Lots of marshmallows in this game. Pink marshmallows on a stick. Okay, so Luke is paying one coin, and he is going to collect... I'll, I'll give you the points, Luke. Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six points. You've moved up to 37. Whoa. My turn. I'm also going into the inn. I'm going in last, which means I'll be going first when we leave the inn, and I'm going to look, and hopefully there's... Well, I know there's something, because I have three coins. I can afford anything in here. <laughs> They're all worth one point. Everything was worth one point. So, doesn't really matter which one I buy. I think I want the eggs with chocolate stuffed in them. That sounds delicious. <laughs> so, I'll put that there. Costs mm. one. The one I didn't buy is going to go to the bottom of the pile. I'm going to collect my six points, which puts me to 26. Still in last place. Wait! I almost made a mistake, but I caught what? it. I have a special ability. When I arrive at the inn, I can take... Any panorama card I want, I'm going to continue the panorama that I have started here, the longest one, the blue ones, and I'm going to take number two in that set, which is going to give me two points. Phew! Almost didn't catch that. Okay, now I'm going to move my piece. Well, time for me to return the favor of other people getting in my way earlier in the game. I'm going to go to a spot I think both of the kids would like to go to. The encounter space. Oh! No. Yes, I am Come doing on, it. Come on, Dad! <laughs> All right. So I get to draw an encounter card. Oh, this is a good one for me. This is the one that allows me to take the next panorama in this set. Now, I have already completed this set, so I can take any panorama card I want. I'm going to grab the blue one. And this is the third one in that panorama, so I'm going to be able to collect three points. One, two, three. So our journey continues, but we're going to take a little pause right now and let you guys decide what you think Luke should do next. So let us know in the YouTube comments below. If you like what someone suggests, give them a thumbs up. Whatever gets the most votes, that's the one we'll go with when we come back. Let's try not to block me out next time. I've, I've paid my dues. Let's give Rodney a little bit of a break. What do you say? No. Sure. I like this one. Till the next episode, thanks for watching. potato on his head. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes, yes, they, that's already been handled and taken care of. They are fully aware of the mistake I was made. <laughs> the mistake I was made. <laughs> you are a mistake! Mistake! Let's just continue on. Ready? Ready? Must be. Why? Because it rhymes. Okay. Oh, bro. Oh. Is this one? <laughs> yeah.
people think that this is easy to do, but they don't know what it's like to work with both of you. <laughs> it's a dream come true. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a nightmare. About? Come to life. Okay, I'm going to take my turn now. <laughs> no. They call me Rodney Mistake. I spit everywhere. <laughs>